40 Opening Lotus Blossom Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a 40 Lotus Blossom, and I know that I mentioned in my 40 cards video from about two weeks ago or so that I had another video coming up that used basically the same kind of idea and technique, and that's this one. And I actually did this nail first. This was my first idea, and then I decided to kind of, I don't know, I upload things in all sorts of weird orders. So this one came later, but it's really pretty, it's very simple, and I love how the flower just opens up. I I enjoy this so much. I also am using some new rhinestones, so I'll show you guys those in just a moment. I hope you guys like this too, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So here are those rhinestones that I mentioned. They're the little teardrop shaped pink ones that you can see in the front. These are from Beauty Big Bang, and they are actually really, really pretty. The colors are very, um, very bright, very intense. They're very rich looking, and so yeah, and they're a little bit on the larger side, so depending on what you're what you're using them for. They may be too big, but definitely for doing crazy designs like I do, big rhinestones can come in handy. So I was, and you know, I'm kind of building up my rhinestone collection. I had a lot of the same thing. I had a lot of really small um, rhinestones, and so I'm kind of getting into where I need some larger ones to do different things with them. So I'm very, very happy to have these. And then to begin the nail, I'm going to start with an overlay of a limey green acrylic that's got just a little bit of glitter in it. This is actually one of my very first colors of acrylic that I had from so long ago that I bought um, when I bought all of my colored acrylic back when the first round of my colored acrylic purchasing and I kind of forget I have it so I was very I was like oh I need to use that one and so I was I really enjoyed using that color um, in case the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to protect the glitter especially if you file glitter you're usually going to make it look really silver and scratchy looking with this one in particular though the glitter has pigment and color going all the way through it so it wouldn't really hurt it but that color or that clear acrylic is going to make it a lot stronger so file the nail into shape I started out with a pretty coarse bit just to give it now get rid of any bulk and then going over it with a finer bit to refine the surface texture and make it really really nice and smooth then take a little teeny tiny bit and poke a hole right near the tip of the nail going all the way through so then set a large clear nail tip over the top of your nail and then draw out the shape that you want your first middle petal to be then set another clear nail tip over that one and draw out the shape of the second petal so each petal that you draw needs to have a little bit more of a angle going out at the tip of it so i'm doing one side and then going back and forth so i'm doing the first petal think of that as petal number one that's the first layer and then the next two are that's the second layer and then you're gonna have to do number three so grab a number two and set another nail tip on top of it to make your number three so as you can see each time they kind of get a little bit more of that angle on them so they just kind of fan out a little bit more so just set out your nail tips that's how they should all look so you have five different five different petals then cut them out with a teeny tiny manicure scissors this is not the easiest process because you're cutting a curved item with curves and it's not like I said not the easiest so be careful with it then file off the edges and file off the little bit of sharpie that's left over just kind of file to smooth them out and then as you're filing the sharpie thin out the plastic tip as well then on your twos and your threes you're going to want to poke a hole in the bottom of the petal with a e-file with the same bit that you use to make the hole in the nail then paint your petals with hopefully one coat of light pink gel polish but if one coat doesn't quite cover you may need to use two i'm using a one-step gel polish that is definitely going to be helpful um, as you can see, one of my holes did end up being filled in. You can always remake the hole with your e-file later on. Um, it's better to try to not have to do that, but if you do end up having one that gets filled in, that, that happens. So then buff off the shine from all of your petals. Like I said, I was using a one-step polish, so I didn't need to apply any top coat after that. It just needed to be buffed so it wasn't shiny. Plus, that's going to thin it out a little bit more. And then with uh, some pink, or darker pink paint, that's diluted, I'm going to be adding the little details and the little um, color variation on each petal. So I'm adding some pink down the center of each petal and then a little bit of white at the very tip of each petal just to kind of give it a little bit more. Flowers in nature aren't just going to be a single shade of pink. So it adds a whole lot of a whole lot of leveling if you do add some just like watercolor going over the top of your petals. It's super easy and super quick to do and it definitely adds a lot to it. So just do that on all of them. On the one in the center, that's the one you are going to see the most of. So as you can see, I did add a little bit more of that pink on there. The other ones, I was a little bit, you don't really see as much of them because as they're fanned out, the, there's a little bit of overlapping. So you don't have to worry as much about those ones. But the one in the center, you do want to make sure it looks uh, nice. <laughs> looks pretty good. And 
go over that last one, add the little line down the center, just like that, and the white tip. Then apply a layer of gel sealer over each petal. I do recommend using gel sealer instead of top coat because gel sealer is thinner than top coat and you do wanna to try to keep your petals as thin as possible. Taking a little piece of wire, bend a 90 degree angle into it. Then grabbing your center petal, you're going to glue that onto your wire. So you don't want it to be glued all the way to the very end or the very tip of the petal, but you do want it to be a little bit back because your the holes in the rest of your petals aren't all the way at the tip, they are up a little bit and you do want that to line up. So then string your petals, so you put on a two and a two and then a three and a three. So it goes back and forth, back and forth. And then just kind of hold those in place. Then push the wire through the hole in the nail. Hold that as tightly as you can and as straight so that the center petal is as straight as you can. Bend the wire down, cut off any extra. Make sure that it is really nice and tight and then you're going to want to glue that in place underneath the nail. So hold that so it's really straight. That's kind of a key factor. Make sure that the petal on the very top of the nail, on the very top of the little petal stack is straight and then glue the wire underneath so that that will stay straight. And then it's little secure it, add some security to the bottom with some clear acrylic. Apply gel sealer or gel top coat over the little top cuticle area and then add some, I use some, I have some uh, rhinestones that are kind of like a pink green iridescent so that was perfect. So I used some of those and then two of those pink teardrop shape ones I just showed you from Beauty Big Bang. And then two more of the little green pink ones. Uh, cure that. After that is cured, then you want to apply gel sealer and gel top coat over the rest of the nail, adding a little bit more over the top of the rhinestones. Do it side by side. So do one side with the petals moved to the other side and then after that's cured, flip them to the side that's done and go back and forth that way. After that's done, you're going to want to make it so that your petals can only open so far. So glue a little bit of thread underneath the upper petal, the first, that first middle one, and then find a two that goes to the right side. And then you're going to glue the twos in place. So just take and kind of fan them out so they go in the right, they're in the right spot. Put a little drop of glue under the tip of that petal and then grab your pink thread and then hold that in place so that the thread is going to prevent your flower from over opening. Cause as you can see, those petals can just go in circles. So you're adding these so that they don't do that. And the reason that this works is because the petals taper and the little thread will just fold up kind of accordion style when you are, when you want your petal or when, you're, when, when you want your flower to be closed, your thread is just gonna fold in underneath there. The reason that couldn't be done with the card nail that I mentioned that's like this, um, is because the cards are square, there was no place for that thread to go. So it works for this one, it doesn't work for the other one. So you kind of have to, I don't know, it works sometimes, not always. But if you can get it where you can do this with the thread and keep them so that your hand of cards or that your flowers aren't going to just over open and go all over the place, it does help. So then after you have all of your little petals glued onto the thread, you can trim off the extra thread just with a little manicure scissors again, get rid of any of that, and you are all done, and you can start playing with this one. It is a lot of fun. I have been thinking of how to make an opening flower for years probably, and this is the first time I've ever actually come up with a concept that I thought was worth trying. So I was very happy with this. I hope you guys like it too, and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!